Earlier, I was doing my talks and lectures in a disorganized and erratic way. But then I started receiving so many requests on social media, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, etc. about starting my podcast. Anyway, I was, I was, you know, thinking of giving back or sharing my experience with the society and community. And I found this podcast thing to be a great opportunity. I also received several requests to, to make podcast in Hindi or English, which I will try doing in, in, the, in the coming days. So today I, I'm, I'm sharing something really, really significant, especially for all the youngsters. This content is sourced from a, from a talk delivered by Kevin Kelly on his 68th birthday, 68th birthday. Kevin posted a blog post called 68 bits of unsolicited advice. Kevin is the founding executive editor of Wired magazine and a former editor publisher of the whole earth review. He has also been a writer, photographer, uh, you know, conservationist and, and, and a student of Asian and dig digital uh, uh, culture. So let us gather his valuable advice. Out of 68 bits of advice that Kevin Kelly gave, I picked up some of the most significant ones according to me. He says or he advises, learn how to learn from those who disagree with you or even offend you. See if you can find truth in what they believe. Being enthusiastic is worth 25 IQ points. Don't be afraid to ask a question that may sound stupid because 99% of the time everyone else is thinking of that same question and is too embarrassed and is too embarrassed to ask it. So don't be embarrassed. Ask any question no matter how stupid it may sound. Being able to listen well is a superpower while listening to someone you love, keep asking them, is there more you want to ask until there is no more. Treating a person to a meal never fails and, and it's so easy to do. It's, it's powerful with old friends and it is a great way to make new friends. Take people out on meals who you want to be friends with. Re reading your children regularly will bond you together with them and kickstart their imaginations. Don't be the smartest person in the room. Hang out with and learn from people smarter than yourself. Even better, find smart people who will disagree with you. Don't take it personally when someone turns you down. Assume they are just like you, occupied, distracted. Try again later. It's, it's, it's amazing how often a second try really works. Keep on trying until you succeed. When you are young, spend at least six months to one year living as poor as you can owning as little as you possibly can, eating beans and rice in a tiny room or, or a tent to experience what your worst lifestyle may be. That way, when you have something in the future that you want to risk, you won't be afraid of the worst case scenario. Yes, challenge yourself with little things, with little budget. The more that you are interested in others, the more interesting they find you. So to be interesting, be interested in others. To make something good, just 
do it. To make something great, just redo it. Redo it. Redo it. The secret to making fine things is in remaking them. Yes, in remaking them. If you are looking for something in your house and then you finally find it, when you are done with it, don't put it back where you found it. Put it back where you first looked for it. That's a practical piece of advice by Kevin. Saving money and investing money are good habits. Small amounts of money invested very regularly for many decades without deliberation is one path to wealth. Remember that. To make mistakes is human, yes. To own your mistakes is divine. Nothing elevates a person higher than quickly admitting and taking personal responsibilities for the mistakes that you make and then, and then fixing them fairly. If you mess up, it's, it's, it's fess up. It's, it's astounding how powerful this ownership is. Show up. Keep showing up. Somebody successful once said 99% of success is just showing up. Yes, 99% of success is just showing up. Friends are better than money. Remember, friends are better than money. Almost anything that money can do, friends can do it better. In so many ways, a friend with a boat is better than owning a boat. Beautiful saying. So don't say anything about someone in an email that you would not be comfortable saying them directly. Because eventually what you have written in the email, they will read it. So be careful what you write in the emails. If you desperately need a job, you are just another problem for a boss. But if you can solve many of the problems the boss has right now, you are hired. To be hired, think like your boss. Don't think just about your own self. The universe is cons conspiring behind your back to make you a success. This would be much easier to do if you embrace this paranoia. If you can adopt just 50% of this advisory, which Kevin Kelly gave, I'm telling you, you will be making a beginning to be a successful man, a successful person. Thank you. See you again with another podcast in the next few days.